Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Terraform data source. What is data source and why we should use it? So let's start. Data source allow data to be fetched or compute for use elsewhere in Terraform configuration. So what does it mean? Basically, you are fetching some data from outside, which is not part of your Terraform configuration file. So use of data source allow a Terraform configuration to build on information defined outside of Terraform or defined by another separate Terraform configuration file. So this particular definition looks like some complicated, but it will be more, cl more clear uh, as soon as we do, do the demo. So just for a time being, just keep in mind data source allow us to fetch any kind of data which is not part of your Terraform configuration file with the help of data source. A data source is accessed by a special kind of resource known as data resource declared using the data block. So if you have to use uh, data source in your Terraform configuration file, then you have to declare a data block. So if you can see in this particular image, I have declared a data block to fetch the AWS AMI ID. So a data block request that Terraform read from a given data source. So in this particular example, a uh, data source is AWS underscore AMI and export the result under the given local name in our case, which is test. So this particular data source fetch the information and whatever the information or data it will fetch, it will export that particular data to this local name, which is test. So basically in this data block, there are few things few things which is optional so like honor it is not mandatory it's optional filter is also optional so we will see in a, a terraform documentation what are all the things which are optional and which is which are the things which is mandatory so basically uh, to i'll give you a brief about this particular data block what we are going to do so with this particular data source aws underscore ami ami i am fetching the ami id and i am exporting that ami id in this particular local variable local name and this is the most recent is equal to two. it means the latest image which we have that will be fetched and honor it's in this case is i have specified as a amazon but it could be a microsoft google any any provider or you can also use your custom image in that case you can define here like self as a owner and filter we are using to fetch any particular image id so that's why we can use a filter also it will be more clear uh, when we start demo why we should use data source so suppose we have to create a ec2 instance and i have three regions ap south one us east one and us east two so as we know in aws ami id is region specific so if you have to create a ec2 instance then you have to there is a one way you have to hard code this ami id in the resource block so for example here ami id we can hard code the value but this is not the best practice because a time to time these ami ids got changed so to avoid those things what we can do we can use the data source so if you can see in this particular image i have declared a data block here so this is the data source for ami id aws underscore ami and this is the test as a local name and honor i'm using uh, amazon because i need to fetch image from the uh, amazon and the filter this is an image basically i have to fetch and this is a resource block so here what i have done i have specified ami is equal to data dot aws underscore ami dot test dot id so basically if you see this is the provider data dot aws underscore ami dot test dot id so that's how basically you specify data source in the resource block so there are few options if, if you need to find like more details related to the option that can be used in filters you can defer this following aws documentations link so let me uh, open this particular link
so if you can see here for filters these are the options which we can use it if, if i'll go back go back to my ppt so here i'm using in filter name and values like uh, the ami id value i'm providing it here so there are other many options which you can use it as part of ec2 instance and uh, let me also open data source for ec2 instance so we'll simply search ec2 instance data source so now if you see here ec2 we have a resource then if we'll scroll down we have a data source so for this i'm using the aws underscore mi as a data source so for different resources we have a different uh, data source which we can use it so i just want to show you like uh, there are many resources like for as part of ec2 we have ami uh, again these uh, aws underscore mi from instance so these many resources which we have and for all those resources we have a data source which we can use as part of your terraform configuration file so let's see in a demo. So I have a same uh, Terraform configuration file. So this is the basically provider block and I'm creating this particular EC2 instance in AP South one. And from this region, I am basically fetching the this particular image and also i have specified most recent is equal to true so before running this particular terraform configuration file let's uh, verify i am in ap south one region and let's verify what's the latest image which we have here so i'll go to launch instance and if i'll browse for amis so you can see uh, we have a latest amazon linux 2023 ami image so if I select this particular image. So now you can see the details. So here what I am doing in uh, this particular Terraform configuration file as part of value. I am using this name AWS AMI till 2023 and after that I have put asterisk. So these are the this is the value basically which I am using because I, I want to fetch this particular image. So let me uh, run this particular Terraform configuration file. So Terraform apply command is completed. Let's verify the instance. So I'll go to EC2. So we have an instance t2.micro which is running. So let's verify the AMI ID. So you can see the AMI name is this particular name which we have specified in the value here. So this is what uh, you have like, this is already images available in a, uh, AWS. If you have your custom image, then what you can do, suppose for example, I'm commenting this particular line. Okay, before that, let me destroy the existing EC2 instance. So it's completed. Now what I will do, I'll comment this particular line and I'll uncomment this line. So here what I'm doing and owner I'll choose this as a self. So here basically this is the some custom image. I don't have any image with the, with the name of hello world. I'm just, uh, I'm just showing you like how you can use your custom image which you have published in AWS. So owner you have to provide as a self and value you have to provide the name of the image which you have published on AWS. So let me run this command now. It will fail. So 
सो यू गॉट एन एरर सेंग यूर क्वेरी रिटर्न नो रिजल्ट प्लीज चेंज योर सर्च क्राइटेरिया ट्राई अगेन सो इट मीन्स इट आस्किंग फॉर दिस फिल्टर पार्ट बिकॉज वी डोंट हैव एनी इमेज विद द नेम ऑफ हेल ओवर दैट्स वाई इट गॉट फेल्ड सो दैट्स हाउ बेसिकली वी यूज डेटा सोर्स इन टेराफॉर्म कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो थैंक यू सो मच सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो